Hail Caesar. video before this armour actually arrived, but it arrived really quick, it arrived in two days from England uh, to Canada, and I'm completely blown away by how fast it arrived. I ordered it Friday and today is Tuesday. Um, so excluding the weekends, it took two days. Pretty darn impressive. So I wanted to make this video before I got this armour to actually tell you guys that I am sort of branching my channel into a different era of history, uh, which is now obviously, as I'm wearing a Lorica Segmentata and a Roman Gallic, uh, the Rome period. Um, so I hope you guys support this change. Um, by all means, I'm still going to be doing Greek videos, 100%. Um, but I thought I might as well branch my channel into another era of history that's still close to um, the motherland, I guess, of Greece that, where this channel started. But I thought, you know, Rome's a cool time period. Um, I especially really like their armour. Um, and lots of it I can use in Greek, so for instance this tunic that I have for my Roman um, armour, uh, it is a wool tunic, it's quite nice actually, quite warm, especially as it's winter here now, uh, that can go over to my Spartans. Um, so I just thought, you know what, I, I got uh, three paychecks from work that I didn't cash in, cashed it in, I was like, you know what, let's, uh, let's buy some Roman armour. And I'm very happy that I made that choice. Uh, so all of these uh, items can be found from the night shop uh, in the UK. Uh, the Roman Gallic right now is only £50. This, I believe, is £112. Um, free shipping outside of, uh, of the UK. And, um, oh, not free shipping, sorry. Uh, no tax on shipping outside of the UK. Uh, the shipping cost me, I think it was £100. Um, hundred uh, pounds and for the total it was 344 pounds for the tunic, uh, the gallic and the segmentata um, including shipping. So it's about uh, about 600 Canadian dollars, it's probably about 550 US so it's quite a good deal for what you get. Um, I basically struck even with that week's pay which was quite nice. Um, anyway, enough about that. So yeah, I I thought I would um, tell you guys about this. I'm doing another video on how to make an armour stand for this armour, actually. I was hoping that I would have finished that by the time it arrived. I did not expect it to arrive in two days. Um, but this is how that's turning out right now. So, as I just knocked part of it over. So this is where the helmet will sit, and then I'm going to put the arms for the Sacrum Tartar. And it's a base just down on the floor, but I'm not going to get that up right now. But anyway, yeah, so this isn't really necessarily a video on these two pieces of armour right now. Um, th those will be coming. Um, I just thought I would do a video just telling you guys, you know, I am going to be branching into some Roman history videos. I'm probably going to stick pretty close, for at least the start, for around the actual uh, Greco-Roman wars. So like when um, Alexander the Great already conquered Greece, but you know, Rome's coming in. I want to sort of learn a little bit more about that um, era of history. And now this armour might not be quite period accurate for that, um, this is sort of early imperial, sort of like AD 100 roughly. Um, so, yeah, what do you guys think about this? Uh, I was going to ask you guys sooner, but then I thought, you know what? Um, one way to grow a channel is to expand what you cover. Um, so I hope you guys also, by uh, me doing this. Maybe you guys find a new liking for Romans as well. And one person I do really have to thank this is the Metatron. Uh, if you haven't watched the Metatron, he is a great YouTuber. Um, he's in Italy and he does Roman, uh, Samurai, uh, breaking down video games, uh, stuff like that. He does a really good channel. I'll put the link in the description for him. This is actually the helmet that he has. Um, so please go and subscribe and watch all of his videos, well, maybe not all of them, you've been there for a long time, <laughs> but uh, watch some of his videos. Um, so I know I left another two week gap, I'm going to try and upload every two weeks roughly. Um, 
One thing though I would really like to say, and I will do a separate video on this, is how armors evolved from Greece to Rome. But the Lorica segment arm, now it's not quite on me, right, I just quickly did it up. Um, but it's so much nicer to move in than any of the Greek armor that I have. Uh, like Muscle Cuirass or, um, or Lilla Thorax. And the helmet's one thing that I prefer the appearance of Greek armor. But I must say that the Galax feel a lot nicer on the head. So like the big neck piece which would be to block mainly sword strikes actually from coming down and when I turn my head. But it doesn't like my Corinthian helmet with my Lilla Thorax. Sorry, I just keep having to move that string down. Um, uh, it, I, where the neck piece of the Lunar Thorax comes up and the neck piece of my Corinthian helmet, they clash. Whereas I have no trouble with that. And same with the cheek guards. The way that they sort of tie in, it's a lot more open faced. But the where it has the brow and, and the crumple wing points where it, it would crumple, um, it feels a lot nicer. And the segmentata. Uh, it's quite similar to like an armadillo if you look at it. Uh, sort of like, oh, well, it's overlapping place. And it, the Romans didn't actually call it segmentata. This is um, what the Victorians named it when they uh, found it. Um, now, though it is Latin, it's not what the Romans called it. But you can move so much easier. I'd probably be able to touch my toes with my hamstrings for that good. <laughs> but like, you know, you can bend back, bend to the side. Like, it's basically. Like a Lorica Hamata, which is the uh, chainmail, but with the protection of plates. Um, so it's an extremely intelligent uh, piece of armor. Now the cheeks are just this is a piece of thong that uh, is just tied to um, the uh, little brass bit. And as you can see, so it's uh, this is steel and uh, copper. And um, historically, they would sometimes have very mild steel, possibly, but mainly it was iron. So this would rust like hell. Um, and that is one thing that I don't want to let this rust. Like my Greek armor, I can just see it over there. <laughs> needs some um, needs some uh, work on this. Where it's brass, it's sort of starting to oxidize. I need to sort of try and fix that. But anyway, yeah, you can you can jump around in this stuff, and it and it's. A lot more comfortable to wear than the Greeks um, armor. Anyway, this was just a quick video uh, for this guy, just saying thanks for being patient. Uh, I was waiting for this for a while, I was sort of thinking about should I make that um, purchase choice, and I am very glad that I did. I hope you guys are happy that I did as well. Um, hopefully, for my birthday, which is coming along in April, I'm hopefully going to get the scutum or the shield. I think that would also be really interesting to see how the circular shields evolved into um, uh, rectangular ones. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you guys are looking forward to sort of the future of this channel. I, not not a new beginning, but like it's going to change. Uh, hopefully for the better. Instead of just being a big dedicated channel, it will be split into some Rome de 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 dedicated stuff as well. Um, yeah guys, thank you so much for watching. Hail Caesar.